Pokemon Go community, this is Dan here from Danstube.tv, and we have 80 new Pokemon from Gen 2 to capture. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite Pokemon is from Gen 2, guys. I would love to know. This update got me extremely excited guys and I cannot wait to explore more and more of these Pokemon and explore all these new things that have been added to the game. So the first thing we have more than 80 Pokemon um, from Pokemon Gold and Pokemon Silver video games. Now that is insanely exciting guys. I want to mention a few things first. Um, I noticed that during the battles they've improved that now it's a lot smoother the animations actually finish up you get your finishes and there's not as many bugs which is fantastic i've also noticed that the pokemon go plus will pick up pokestops at around 60 kilometers an hour now so it finally is useful again we now have new items to collect from the pokestop so we can get evolution items which allow you to evolve specific pokemon and we can also get new berries so we have two new berries we have the nanab berry uh, and this will slow the movements of of the Pokemon which is extremely handy for the Pokemon that move all around the screen and it does make it a lot easier to catch. Then you have the Pineapp Berries, uh, so the first one was basically a banana berry and the Pineapp Berry is a pineapple berry and this one doubles the amount of candy you'll receive if your next catch attempt succeeds which is awesome. Another thing I noticed which is something that I've been wanting for a while is depending on the Pokemon you catch if it's uh, the first evolution, the second evolution or the third evolution um, you will actually get different candy. So the first one you get three, second one you get five, or if it's a final evolution, then you will actually get 10 candy. So that is really handy and something that I've been wanting for a while now. We also have the new encounter gameplay. So this means that Pokemon will move in unpredictable ways. Uh, if they're flying Pokemon, they'll fly all over the screen. Some of them will slide to the side, some will move up and down, they'll float, and it actually makes it really enjoyable, guys. I know it doesn't sound like the biggest update, but the fact that we have new encounter gameplay makes it more engaging, uh, you have to be more focused on catching Pokemon, and it adds a, a new element to it, and it plays perfectly into the Nana Berries because it allows you to slow down movements of specific Pokemon that are just all over the place. We also received an expanded wardrobe, so we have new avatars and we have new items to either purchase or just select. So you can remove your bag now, you can remo remove your shoes, you can remove your gloves, uh, you can remo remove your hat as well, which is really cool. Uh, you can also buy items, so really cool 3D glasses, uh, a suit top, jeans, like lots of really exciting things. And this is another thing that the community have been asking for for such a long time now and we've seen it in the data code uh, as the data miners have been going through it and we've been wanting it so it's amazing that they've added all of these things in the one drop with gen 2 as well that was just amazing to me we also get new pokemon in our eggs as well so that's rekindled a new excitement for hatching eggs for me personally there's all these new pokemon to hatch so again another really awesome thing um, and then the other thing i did notice was my avatar walks slightly differently now i'm not a fan of how he walks now. Uh, he kind of looks like a dweeb. Uh, it's not a, a massive change by any means, but I mean, I noticed it. It was one of the early things I noticed, and it's kind of annoying. I just don't really like it too much, but I digress. It's not the end of the world, guys. So when it comes to the core gameplay and how I feel about this game, now, I've noticed that it's obviously died off a lot. Since the initial release, the game was at its peak in my area around Australia, and then it slowly died off, and you still have a core following, a core fan base of people that really enjoy the game, and that's amazing. Now, I've seen a lot of people getting back into it since Gen 2. Um, so far, it hasn't been um, as explosive, I guess, for a lack of a better word, as I was expecting it to be. I thought it would pick up a lot faster. I guess people will slowly get back into this and maybe over the next week or so it will build in popularity again. Um, but I'm really excited, guys. I love all the new Pokemon. I feel like these new additions, even though they may seem like slight additions, for someone like me who's been playing this game since the release and who's been persevering with all of these small changes and waiting for something decent, uh, to me this was a massive update. This is the biggest update to date and I really love what they've done with everything. It's rekindled again a new passion. I'm, I'm excited to catch more Pokemon. I'm excited to explore the regions and it's actually steered me away from the gym system. I was regularly taking gyms and trying to hold them and now I'm just more excited to catch Pokemon and explore because it just adds a whole new element for me guys. Anyway, I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to have a splendid day and peace out.